Hi, welcome to Climbing Daily. You might wonder why we're sitting outside with all this packaging, but stay tuned and we will reveal all later in the show. But first, we have got some massive climbing news. The biggest news in climbing right now, by a country mile, is the Dawn Wall. If you somehow missed it, that's Tommy Caldwell and Kevin Jorgensen's long-standing project on El Capitan. To call it the hardest big wall free climb in the world is barely to do it justice. Some very well informed commentators have described it as the greatest climbing achievement in history by a mile. Quite the accolade. Tommy first started exploring the route, which is based on a Warren Harding aid line, eight years ago and gradually worked on the pitches with a number of climbing partners. However, it wasn't until Kevin Jorgensen joined in the fun six years ago that real progress was made. Since then, the two of them have spent countless weeks and months on the route, gradually figuring out pitch after pitch until last autumn when they finally freed the hardest section. Just before this breakthrough, we grabbed a word with Tommy to find out if he really thought that this could be the year. So this is from Colby Birchfield. He says, will the dorm wall send this year? Oh, who knows? <laughs> Maybe, I mean, it's been a huge part of my life for a decade now, and it's hard to imagine not having that as a thing that drives me every day um, but I think it's getting closer it's it's a giant project how much of a step back do you take when you've had a long period off it do you remember it can you do the pitches you could do last year or do you have to rework stuff you have to I have to rework stuff I mean there's a lot of pitches that are right at my limit so you have to get the muscle memory thing going you have to relearn the intricacies it's it's incredibly technical climbing so if you're just a tiny bit out of position you fall off and it takes a bit to relearn all of that. I would say it takes me a solid month to get back to the point that I was when I left the season before and that's if the weather works out perfectly. With all the pitches freed all that was left was to climb the route in one go from top to bottom without returning to the ground in a single push. They set off just before New Year and now finally it's in the bag. Tommy seemed to be a man on a mission and made relatively fast work of the first 20 pitches, but Kevin had a real battle to get through the 15th pitch. He eventually did it and Tommy described it as an intense and incredible thing to witness. To give you some idea of the difficulty of this route, the Crux 15th pitch weighs in at 9A, but just to get there, there are five pitches between 8B plus and 8C plus, as well as a number of 8A plus sections. Bearing in mind that climbing one of these pitches would be the crux of virtually any other big wall out there, and this achievement is like flying to the moon. So the Dawn Wall story has actually been pretty easy to track down, it's all over the mainstream media, but some of the things we tell you about on Climbing Daily are a little harder to find, and for that we've got our own secret weapon. He's such an effective secret weapon in fact, that we've given him his own weekly segment on the show. Let's go and see him. Well, here we are in the bowels of the Epic TV operation. This is where the action happens, and it's where we keep our deepest, darkest secret. We let him out of his box last week, but he's firmly back in. Some say all he eats is cliff bars, and that his house is made of ice screws. All we know is, he's called the Adam. Thanks, Charlie. In the world of climbing this week, Sierra Blackhall went somewhere in a bikini. Paul Robinson ate a boulder nom, 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 nom. and apparently Sasser de Julian became a racing driver. <laughs> but the main story on the social this week is the huge news from the dorm wall where we finally discovered the colour of Tommy Caldwell's long johns. Oh hello! I'd have gone with blue myself. Meanwhile in Red Rocks, John Glassberg broke his A4 pulley. Oh you want me out? No, no, no you're good. Okay. Yeah you guys are good. And finally, in Chalua, Spain, Hazel Finley ate some eggs. Fresh and white eggs are here! Tupperware party, Hazel? Next up, we've got the Alex Puccio Award, which this week goes to Alex Puccio for this. Pie to the pooch. Remember to hashtag your training photos and videos, Puccio Power for your chance to be featured on the show and to win an Epic TV t-shirt. We'll see you next week on The Social.
Thanks, Adam. We'll see you next week in the Batcave. We've got more for you about how the dorm wall was climbed and filmed coming up in the next few weeks, so stay tuned. We'll see you tomorrow. Milk two sugars, Steve.